This is for everybody on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for your support. So we're back to double sticks. Now, I thought we would do something a little bit interesting today. It's something that we haven't necessarily spent too much time on in the previous double stick uh, drills of the week. Uh, I thought we would ha do this entire drill of the week double stick focusing on Sinawalis. Now, in Pikiti and in all Filipino martial arts, but again, I only know Pikiti, uh, we have so many variations and so many types of Sinawali. In fact, we say that we have 64 variations of Sinawali within Pikiti. I have never stopped to count how many I know, but they can get pretty complicated. So instead, we're going to focus on just the three count Sinawali, or just the Sinawali that start from this shoulder, the same side position. We're not going to focus on the open uh, Sinawali, we're just going to focus on this shoulder, this same side uh, loading position Sinawali. They're not all going to be three counts, but they're almost all going to be some sort of variation of the most basic Sinawali that we have, which is your Heaven Six. So let's begin as we always do with some footwork, but I'm going to be working this heaven six pattern with every step. Now, it's up to you whether you want to do all three strikes broken, all three strikes fluid, or you want to mix and match the two. Um, the angles also that I would recommend for this is a forehand angle one. This is going to be a uh, angle two from the backhand. And then you have three options for this third strike. You can either go forehand, so I'm hitting 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock. You can go straight down top to bottom, so 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Or you can do what I'm going to recommend you to do. Go hit at 11 o'clock, broken, tuck it under the shoulder. So now we're hitting two attacks on one side and the third attack on the other side. So we're going to start from the same side load. On every step, I'm going to do three strikes. So that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 3, 1, 2, 3, double step, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Now your coordination should be such that when you're doing all of this, there's no stopping. So it's not 1, 2, 3, stop, come back and then begin. Because then that's a 4 count. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, I want a non-stop barrage of attacks. So there should only be three, three counts, three counts, three counts, three counts. So I'm going one, two, three, one. I mean, my sticks are never stopping. Like in the earlier version, I was stopping here on the fourth count. Here I'm going one, two, three, immediately the next side and the next strike. Immediately the next side and the next strike. So we're going to be doing two sets of this three and a half minutes, but again, I would really take my time on this one because this coordination of three strikes and only three counts, not four counts, only three counts, because you can do three strikes, but it'd be on a four count because you have that last gap, right? Um, we want that three count, three strikes, three count on each step can be a little bit tricky to get down, so take your time with this. The next variation we're going to do is we're going to mix our Sinawali with our Gunting, these crossing motions. Um, and again, it's going to be just based off this heaven six. So I'm going to go one fluid. Now from here, this hand is stuck under my arm. This hand is stuck under my arm. As this comes out, as it would normally do in the heaven six, this is going to come up. So I'm going cross. Now whichever hands on top is going to come down again for that slash. And I'm on the other side. So I'm going one, gunting, one. One, gunting, one. Angle one, gunting, angle one. Now the gunting, as you can see, is sort of this diagonal. It's going across this line, right? It's going across this line. One hand is rising, one hand is cutting. Later, this is going to be an umbrella. Even now, this can be an umbrella. This can be hitting the hand. So I'm hitting, I'm protecting myself as I'm hitting his hand, and I'm following up with another strike. I switch my legs. One, gunting, angle one. One, gunting, angle one. Again, please notice, I am still doing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There's still three counts. There might be technically four attacks now, so it's one, two and three are coming together, and then four, but the counting is still three. This count, this irregular rhythm between, because my feet are moving on a two, right? One, two, one, two, one, two, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So my, my feet are moving on a two or a four, but my stick 
my attacks are happening on a three. This can be a little bit confusing. So take your time, make sure there is no pause and then step back. And then step back. This pause to step back shouldn't be there. You should coordinate it so that as I'm stepping back, I'm doing the last strike so that as I'm stepping out, I can begin the next strike. As I'm stepping out, my one comes. As I'm coming back, my, th my last, either the fourth attack or the third count comes. So with this also, we're going to do three and a half minute rounds. Do as many as you need to feel comfortable with this. If you are comfortable with this really quickly, work on two rounds. We worked this gunting addition to the Sinawali. Now let's work on some following attacks. So there are a couple of ways of doing this. The easiest way I'm going to show you is just we're going to all hit the same target. So it's one to seven, one to seven, one to seven, right? Uh, this is often called like a redondo Sinawali. So you're going one, two, three, right? So it's one o'clock to seven o'clock, one o'clock to seven o'clock, one o'clock to seven o'clock. And that's a really easy way of doing it. You can do it, you can do that here as well. So one, two, three. One, two, three, and just making a circle. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's fine. But if you want a slightly more a coordination challenging way of doing this, then I'm going to go one. And as the two comes out, this two comes out, this hand is going to go behind my head. And then that comes the three. So one, two, three from the side. One, two, three. One, Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. This will be almost like a really tight, close umbrella. I am not a big fan of, fan of this umbrella for like fighting purposes, but it's a really good coordination drill. So if you want to build your coordination in the Sinawali, then instead of just going like this as a redondo Sinawali, go behind the head. And still I'm hitting one to seven, one to seven, one to seven. 11 to five, 11 to five, 11 to five. One o'clock to seven o'clock, one o'clock to seven o'clock, one o'clock to seven o'clock, 11 o'clock to five o'clock, 11 o'clock to five o'clock, 11 o'clock to five o'clock. Again, sticking to that three count. So do as many as you need to feel comfortable or if you are comfortable, two sets of three and a half minutes. Last, let's add a thrust into our Sinwali. Now, you can do this in three different ways. You can add, you can replace any of the slashes with a thrust. Um, but I'm going to show you the easiest way, which is I'm just going to replace that first angle one forehand with a high thrust. Right? I would recommend beginning with this because everything else either requires a different loading position or a slightly looser interpretation of what a thrust may be. So we're just going to stick to this one. So I'm going to start like this. I'm loading my thrust up here. My other stick is down below where I would normally load for my normal Sinovali. So this is going to be one, one o'clock to seven o'clock, one o'clock to seven o'clock. I'm hitting 11 o'clock. Now, this big mistake you're going to make is this stick is going to come back here on your shoulder. Instead of that, go 1 to 7, 1 to 7. Now, this stick, watch this stick. Instead of coming back to my shoulder, as this stick goes out to hit, this stick is going to come up to facing forward. Now, as I switch sides, 1, 2. Again, watch this hand. This is going to come up here ready to thrust. And again, this is hard to stick to the three count. Even for me, I struggle to stick to the three count in this, in this variation. So we're going one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One easy thing that you can do is just trans tra make sure that all the slashes are broken slashes. So from here, this is a thrust. I'm going 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock. I'm going to go broken, no follow through. It's going to pull back, hit 1 o'clock. It's going to pull back into the thrust position. This is going to hit 11 o'clock. It's going to tuck in as I am coming back. Bang, broken, broken. Thrust, broken, broken. Thrust, broken, broken. That's going to help you stick to that three count. Again, at least two rounds of three and a half minutes each. Now, as we normally end with everything, we're just going to end with some free flow. You have a bunch of variations of Sinovalis, and so just be able to transition from one of them to the other. How are you going to go from the thrusting to the gunting to the basic heaven six to the coordination heaven six? How are you going to go flowing from one to the next to the next? This free flow can be quite taxing on the brain, so do two rounds of two minutes each. 